This is what we can't really see it now, but this is 300 individual sports bets and the results. From February 7th until April 4th, I made 299 sports bets across a variety of sports books. So there's good news and there's better news. The good news is that I was not just completely degenerately firing at random sports bets indiscriminately because I am not anywhere near a professional sports better. I was using a tool called Unabated, which helps me find plus EV wagers across all of the major American sports. The better news is that as you can see from this results graph and these PNL figures is that over the course of these 299 sports bets that I made, I profited $2,178.28. So I feel like that's a pretty reasonable sample. It's 31 days of results because I was trying to collect the equivalent of a full month of results. As you guys, or most of you guys are fully well aware, I am a, or at least was, a professional poker player turned content creator about poker and definitely not about sports betting. So before sharing this tool with you guys, I wanted to make sure I gave it a proper test run, tested it out properly, and I wanted to have a full, months worth or equivalent of worth of results. It's been a super busy year for me in between World Poker Tour and The Lodge, and I don't necessarily have infinite time to go ahead and just hang out in the sports betting streets. But it is something that I would like to continue to dip my toes into, especially if I can do it in a plus EV manner. And this tool has been able to facilitate that for me. It doesn't really take too much time either. The, uh, the mechanics of this is super simple so anyway yeah i wanted to have like a 31 day sample of sports bets results and hopefully i wanted to, to show a profit uh before you know just uh sharing this thing with you guys i've always been very careful about who i say yes to um and whose products i uh share on the channel here so i definitely wanted to take my time with this and you know in between poker trips whether that's to Australia or Cambodia or across the US or down to the lodge, wanted to get a good proper sample and that's what we have here. So I have a code that you guys can use if you are interested in getting into sports betting or if you're already into it, you can use code Andrew over at Unabated and that'll get you 5% off and you guys can test out these tools for yourself. I'll share a link to uh, my results and all of these bets that I made, these 300 bets over 31 days uh, I'll put a link down in the description box so you guys can see these uh, these records and, and check it all out for yourself. Uh, this is uh, something that I definitely want to pay a little bit more attention to going forward here and there. I'll be happy to post some bets that I'm uh, dabbling in uh, on my social media, whether it's Instagram, Twitter, or here on YouTube. So, it has actually been a little while since I've said hello on this channel. I believe a couple weeks, possibly longer. I've been doing some live streaming, but I've also been doing a little bit of traveling. I went home to Michigan, get a uh, Michigan summertime trip in to see the folks. Older brother came in from Los Angeles, younger brother is still there, so a full Mimi family gathering for a good couple of weeks, which also meant a little bit of an excuse to go play poker in downtown Detroit. <laughs> I put my name up on a couple of lists there at MGM Detroit. There was a 510 game going on Friday, and there was also a 1025 with a 25 big light anti game going as well. That game plays a little bit more private style, but the 510 is very much public, and that's the game I hopped into first. By far, the most interesting hand that happened in this 510 game was when there was an early position player who raised it up to $30. I'm next to act with a Jack 10 offsuit. I go ahead and make the call because why not? There's a player in middle position who makes the call and the big blind calls as well. Four ways to a flop that comes down, Jack, seven, deuce, rainbow. That early position player puts out a C bet of $60. Of course, I make the call. Player in middle position calls and the big blind gets out of the way. Turn looks like a pretty cool one to me. It's a 10 of clubs, second club. And this time that player in early position bets $60 again. And this is a very small bet considering the size of the pot now. 
I think we're gonna go ahead and put in a raise here. We got top two pair versus that very small wager. We're gonna wanna put some more money in here, I think. I go ahead and raise it up to $200. Player in middle position gets out of the way before the player in early position, the initial raiser, puts in a three bet on the flop here. He makes it $660 to go, leaving about $700 behind. Anytime there is a three bet on any particular street, that looks super strong to me. But what is there to really think about here? We've got ourselves top two pair and not too much money behind on a fairly connected drawy board. I'm definitely a little bit concerned here, but I'm not sure what there is that could be done about it. After thinking about it for a little while, I go ahead and stick the rest of the money in there and we do not get snap calls. So very good news there. My opponent sighs, <sighs> thinks about it for a little while before eventually making the call. So I go ahead and roll my hand over and my opponent shows us the nine eight of spades. He actually has the nuts after thinking about it and sighing and uh, all that stuff. Uh, so not too sure what that was about, all that performance, but we are off to a river card needing some help and the river card provides some help in the form of another 10. We end up with a full house here on the river, snapping off the nuts straight, heading into the river, only one card to come, definitely a significant dog, but you know, it's Detroit welcoming and their boy back to the city for a little bit of poker and we collect a pretty significant pot here in this 5-10 game. Easy game, life is good, and Stroud is on in this next hand. So playing 5-10-20, action folds over to me on the button looking down at pocket jacks. I go ahead and raise it up to $50. Only the player in the straddle makes the call. So heads up to a flop that comes down 10-9-3 with two hearts. That player in the straddle checks it over to me. Don't really want to doubt bet here, I don't think in this spot. My hand definitely benefits from a lot of protection and it's a pretty interesting dynamic board. So I go ahead and bet for $75 after the straddle player checks it over to me and that player makes the call. Turn is another 10, pairing the top card on the board. And this time when the player in the straddle checks it over to me, I'm just gonna check it back. Rivers an offsuit six, he leads out for $150 this time. I think we have a very straightforward call here. That's what I do and my opponent shows us nine five of clubs. We can beat that hand, we have an over pair, we have a better two pair, dragging this one in as well. We played the 5-10 for about an hour Hour or maybe an hour and a half or so before my name gets called for the 10 and 25 with the 25 ante. They let me in, they let a poker vlogger into this game and we are off and running. Very early on after sitting down in this game, we look down at pocket kings from early position. I make it $75 from under the gun. Action folds to the player on the button who wants to play for more money. He puts in the three bet up to $250 before it folds back to me. Maybe it looks a little bit strong, but we got the second best hand ever created. We're gonna put in a four bet, of course. I choose a sizing of $600 and the player on the button decides to proceed with a call. So early on in this session, we are heads up to a flop and a four bet pot comes down quite favorably for these pocket kings. King nine five giving us top set. The king high flop is definitely a good board from my range, I believe. So I wanna continue here, even though we have this board pretty locked up at the moment. I put out a small bet of $300 and good news is that my opponent doesn't go anywhere. He continues once again with another call. Turn is the seven of spades, which is the third spade on board. But, you know, we've got ourselves top set here. We can improve versus potential flushes, and I'm not too sure we have to worry about potential flushes too much in four bet pots. So I'm gonna bet again. Don't wanna give any free cards to any single spade holdings. So I go ahead and bet $550. My opponent shoots me a look, thinks it over before letting it go. He finds the fold here on the turn. Things working out so far pretty well here in Detroit. Drag this one in. One more hand to share from this 1025 game and there's a raise from the under the gun player. Just a mid raise though, up to $50. Player in his direct left puts in the three bet right away up to $175. The player in the hijack puts in the cold call before we're looking down at a pretty beautiful holding pocket aces in a three bet pot plus a cold call. We're putting some more money in here. I go ahead and four bet it up to $700 even. Those early position players get out of the way and it folds back to the player, the hijack, who wants to gamble. He goes ahead and makes the call. We're heads up to a flop. King seven, three rainbow, player in the hijack checks. I'm not checking, I'm betting $450. Player in the hijack calls, we're off to a turn card, which is an offsuit deuce. Doesn't get any safer than that. The player in the hijack checks. I am not gonna stop wagering. This time I bet 
four figures worth of United States dollars. I bet $1,000 even. Player in the hijack decides he's gone far enough with this hand, doesn't want to invest any more money. Shows me the six five of hearts, flops himself a gut shot plus backdoor flush draw. Neither of that materializes on the turn and abandons ship. So we drag this one in as well. And it's pretty easy sledding for the most part in this session. This one single session of poker that I got to play in downtown Detroit. Just wrapping up the multi-stakes session here at MGM Grand Detroit. Always fun to uh, play with the people here in Detroit. Um, super friendly games. Great group of people in both the uh, the 510 and the 1025, the 25 AT, often 50. Uh, so yeah, we get into the uh, uh, the total of the games for five thousand dollars cash out of the games for six thousand. Eight hundred and twenty-seven dollars profit of one thousand eight hundred twenty-seven dollars, which is not a massive win for a uh, ten twenty-five twenty-five, often fifty. Um, but we'll take it. We're happy about it. Um, definitely found some good hands there, mixed in with like a bunch of bad hands. But like the big hands that I had, pocket aces, a couple times, pocket kings, those held up. That's uh, good news. I wish I could spend a lot more time here. Honestly, I would. Uh, I would really enjoy spending a lot more time here both in detroit and in the uh the casinos here and just uh home sweet home you know there's no place like home is uh is a phrase that i've heard about. right so as you guys can see this is not the usual digs i don't have any green walls in my home i am at one of if not my favorite hotels around Round Rock, which is called the Ruby Hotel. I always like to stay at this spot when I come to the lodge, if I can. It's a smaller spot, smaller hotel, smaller property, so they don't have rooms all the time. Uh, by the way, you can always get uh, some discounted rooms by going to the lodgecardclub.com and clicking through to this link right here, and you can get uh, some discounts on some nearby hotels. So this is the spot I always try to go to. Always uh, check this one first. And they have a great uh, bar and restaurant, which I just had dinner at tonight. Got myself a uh, fantastic old fashioned, the Ruby old fashioned, as well as some pulled pork tacos that were on point. All right, so that brings me to now, which is when I say now, I mean right now. What I'm gonna do right now is what I've been doing for the past two nights in a row. I'm gonna fire up a live stream. I'm gonna hang out on the channel in live format and uh, play some, uh, some poker and hang out with the people who like to view such things. So I'm gonna do that probably for the next couple of hours. It is currently 9.46 in the PM, Austin time. That is the plan, I'm gonna do that. Check back with you guys uh, afterwards and we'll see how we do. Wrapping it up, stream was a fun one. I think uh, I won just about $500. I've been streaming the past three nights in a row. Uh, I've been playing pretty reasonable stakes. The first night I won $1,500. The second night I lost $1,300. And uh, tonight we won $500. So appreciate everyone who stops by these live streams. They are pretty fun to just chill, play some online poker, hang out with the people, chat and chill. Guys, the uh, the WPT made a massive announcement uh, just today. In fact, uh, last year, the uh, world championship at the win in December, the main event for that tournament last year had a $15 million guaranteed prize pool. They crushed it, getting $29 million in that prize pool. This year, today, they just announced for the main event of the WPT World Championship, that tournament will have a guaranteed prize pool of $40 million. So, if you guys are able to, I strongly recommend hopping onto WPT Global. You can check out the cash games, you can also check out the satellites to the WPT World Championship happening again in December with a $40 million prize pool guarantee. Uh, just crazy. 
Um, use code blog, that'll get you a $1,200 first deposit match bonus and also some other freebies to get you started on your way. Hopefully you guys can come to the uh, the world championship. There's gonna be mugs, there's gonna be streams, all sorts of fun stuff. So anyway, uh, I'm gonna be doing multiple streams and multiple videos from Austin, Texas. We got super high stakes tomorrow. We got 25, 50, 100, probably 200, probably stand-up game, probably insanity, unreasonable stakes tomorrow. So do this for me, fingers crossed. I'll report from there next. <laughs>